Big Buffon by Kate Hosford, illustrated by Holly Clifton Brown. On the first day of school, Annabelle sighed. She looked around the room, shook her head, and cried, Ponytails and braids! Ponytails and braids! I don't see anything but ponytails and braids. This class needs some fashion. This class needs some fun. I'll find a hairdo to impress everyone. She skipped back to her house and twirled in the door. As a picture of her grandmother fell to the floor, Annabelle stopped quite suddenly to stare at her grandmother's marvelous tower of hair. Oh, Mom, please, please, can I have a bouffant? A big bouffant is all I really want. How about a bob or an elegant bun? It's not, if it's not a bouffant, then it won't be fun. How about a ponytail with corkscrew curls? I don't want to look like all the other girls. Annabelle ran over to the kitchen shelf. If I want a bouffant, I'll just do it myself. Annabelle smeared butter and honey on her head. She pulled and she piled until her face turned red. When she leaned to the left, her hair slithered right, but Annabelle kept styling with all of her might. She added in ribbons, then sparkles, and a bow. She added in ornaments, row after row. She stood back and wondered, is it too much? Perhaps what I need is a finishing touch. But Annabelle's bouffant was beginning to melt. This is certainly the stickiest that I've ever felt. I just can't believe this is happening to me. Help, I think I'm having an hair emergency. After a shower, several cookies, and a rest, Annabelle decided on the plan she liked best. Please, Mom, could we make another bouffant? I suppose, Mom said, if you really, really want. On Tuesday at school, when Annabelle appeared, a lot of girls giggled and a lot of girls sneered. Then Annabelle was happy with her brand new style, and she walked through the playground with a great big smile. On Wednesday at school, when Annabelle appeared, just a few girls giggled and a few girls sneered. Some girls told Annabelle, we love your big hair. You look so great, they said to her. It's so unfair. Oh, please, could you help us make our own bouffants? I suppose, she said, if you really, really want. On Thursday, the braids and the ponytails were gone, and the girls had bouffants, each and every one. The boys filled in their hair, combed tall, and the teacher's bouffant was the biggest one of all. Annabelle went home and slumped in her on her bed. My bouffant's so boring. I want something new instead. She thought very hard with her eyes closed tight. I know what I'll do, but I need to start tonight. She tiptoed through the house as she gathered her supplies. She'd be the queen of fashion with her next big surprise. Her plan was secret. She wouldn't write it down. On Friday, there were 10 bouffants, but only one gown.